India setting up new launch pad, seeks Russia's help to put man in space by 2022. In addition to the third launch pad at Shrihrikota, the space agency is also scouting for a new location near Gujarat for the small satellite launch vehicles. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is setting up a third launch pad at Shrihrikota to undertake the Gaganyan manned space flight program, an ISRO official said on Friday. In addition, ISRO is scouting for a location on the western sea coast near Gujarat to set up another launch pad for small satellite launch vehicles, SSLV. Third launch pad, we have two launch pads currently, which are already full. A third launch pad is being set up for the human space flight. It will be ready in time for the mission, a senior ISRO official said. In the Independence Day address this year from the Red Fort, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had announced that an Indian will go to space by 2022. Following this, ISRO has announced an ambitious roadmap to put a three man Indian crew in a low Earth orbit for five to seven days by the 75th Independence Day. ISRO Chairman Dr. Sivan had stated earlier that ISRO has begun work on the manned mission in 2004, and that many of the critical technologies required for human spaceflight have already been validated through various test space capsule recovery experiment, crew module atmospheric re-entry experiment and pad abort test ISRO will use its GSLV MK3 launch vehicle, which can carry the heavier payload of the Gaganyan, and this will take off from the new launch pad. In addition to the third launch pad at Shrihrikota, ISRO is also scouting for a new location near Gujarat for the SSLV. ISRO is developing the SSLV to offer affordable launch options for smaller satellites through Untreach, the space agency's commercial arm. ISRO currently piggybacks smaller satellites on the PSLV and GSLV along with bigger satellites. The SSLV is expected to reduce the launch time as well as cost less to launch small satellites, which are much in demand we have evaluated several locations. The first two SSLV launches will take place from Shrihrikota. After that they will move to the new location, the official said. ISRO is ready to transfer the entire SSLV as a whole to the private industry while the agency would provide the initial hand-holding. The SSLV is expected to be cleared by next year. Reliable Russian help India has sought cooperation from Russia in specific areas of its manned space program life support systems, crew modules, and training of astronauts to fulfill its mission of putting an Indian in space by 2022, according to officials familiar with the development. India plans to complete Gaganyan, the country's first manned space mission, in the next four years in sync with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's statements in his Independence Day speech from the ramparts of the Red Fort on August 15. We have decided that by 2022, when India completes 75 years of independence, or before that, a son or daughter of India will go to space with a tricolour in their hands, Modi said in his address to the nation. If successful, India will be the fourth country in the world to launch a manned space mission after Russia, the US and China. Russia has been a close partner of India in space programs for four decades, with the cooperation extending to lunar and Mars missions. The former Soviet Union helped launch India's first two satellites, Aryabhata and Bhaskar. In 2004, India and Russia signed two space-related agreements during Russian President Vladimir Putin's visit. The strengthening of cooperation in this field, including helping India for the manned space mission, came up during a meeting in Moscow between Union External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj and Russia's Deputy Prime Minister for Defense and Space Industry Yuri Borisov about a week ago. The two sides discussed threadbare the space cooperation at that meeting and decided to strengthen their ties in the field of joint scientific research and use of outer space for peaceful purposes. In this context, particular discussion took place on the human space program, including life support system, crew module, and astronaut training, said a diplomat who asked not to be named. Advanced technologies in remote sensing, 
ground stations for satellite navigation systems, GLONASS and NAVIC, and space solar power systems were also discussed, the diplomat added. GLONASS, or Global Navigation Satellite System, is Russia's version of GPS, Global Positioning System. NAVIC is the operational name of the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. It provides accurate real-time positioning and timing services. It covers India and a region extending 1,500 kilometers around it, and the country has plans to extend its coverage area. Soon after Modi's August 15 announcement, the chief of the Indian Space Research Organization, IRO, confirmed the timeline for the human space program and said the pilots and the crew would spend at least seven days in space. The PM has given the target of 2022, and it's our duty to meet it, IRO Chief K. Sivan said last month. A second Indian space program official said India has completed several technologies linked to the human space program, on which it has been working since 2014, and Russian help would complement India's efforts we have credible prowess in this field. For example, we have credibly and credibly competed some technologies such as the escape system and crew module, the official said. The manned mission is expected to cost ISRO around $1.45 billion, according to the space agency. India has also lined up two unmanned expeditions before the human space program takes off. Former IRO chairman G. Mothvan Nair said, We certainly we have the capability to launch a human space mission by 2022. He said the 2022 target for a human space mission will be achievable with Russia's help in a few areas. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.